Soft NCH Software Academy. Today I'm back again with another video, and today I will be showing you how to how to get that vocal effect by hair. So hair did visit my my studio, and today like that's exactly what exactly what I will be doing. So I've been getting a lot of comments, bro. We need more mixed pair tutorials, and today that's exactly what I will be doing. And today, not just like my other videos, I'll be showing you how to put an auto tune on your vocal. So let me play this. Uh, so let me just put it around this position. I want to play like a raw and to show you like the, the, the then I will mix it as the time goes by. Let me play the raw. Okay, that's hair. And today, like I want to show you like, how to get it. So the first thing you need to understand when, when it comes to using autotune on Mixpad, uh, anywhere, actually anywhere, if you want to use autotune, you need to use an autotune of your beat. So the, the beat, um, the project that it has sent me is on F minor scale. So I need to cut exactly here where I like, have vocals. Then click FX. After clicking FX, go to Add Effects. Then I'll go to VST. So the autotune I'll be using is um Gisnap. Gisnap is an autotune which I'll be using. You can use any um autotune effects. We have uh, we have uh NTS autotune, we have uh waves autotune, we have a lot of autotune, but we are doing the same thing. So for this one, we'll be using Gisnap. For Gisnap, you just click there, select scale. Then when you come to, to select scale, you just click there, then you click F. Then you go to major, then you click minor because that's where like the key it is. Then you click OK. After clicking OK, automatically it will give you like um your audio tune. Will, it will push your vocal straight to F minor scale because that's where the beat the beat scale it is. After doing that, just come to amount. Then you push amount to hundred. Then you come to threshold. You increase the threshold a little bit. Then you come here. You put it around two hundred cents for the pitch bend. Push around two two cents. Then also in vibrato to send that's all we'll be doing then you come back on your add effects so what i usually do and you, you all already know like according to my previous um i will go I'll, I'll add an eq i'll add an equalizer then i'll go to a parametric eq actually let, let me just add like a graphic eq because traffic EQ is the one like uh which is easy to understand no what's the what's the name of an eq which i really love to use visual eq yeah, so we'll be using visual EQ. So for visual EQ, you know, like we need to put a little bit of, of a highs. So let's boost our highs a little bit. We're boosting our highs a little bit. Then uh, we'll decrease up around this point. I don't, want, I don't want to extremely boost my highs. Then I'll also boost around this position a little bit. I don't want to boost uh, my mids that much, but I want to boost them a little bit. Then put it around here. So I, I usually kill everything from, from the... Uh, from my lows because like there's nothing I want from the lows. You, the artist, the artist doesn't have a best, so that's why like I kill a lot, of, a lot of lows. So let me go and play the song, and you'll hear like the before and the after. Okay, that's it. So. You, you can hear okay there's an auto tune there so what i usually do since my my just nap audio tune is not that much my just nap audio tune is not powerful just like other uh, audio tune so what 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 i will do i'll really put my just nap again after my visual issue then after my visual issue that's when like you will start to add like um another let me go to just nap again then uh boost it on 100 uh boost it a little bit then you can also maximize it like your frequencies uh, but I, I don't feel like doing it today according to this vocal then you go to minor then you click ok then you can do the same thing do the same uh, do the same thing two two okay that's it then after doing this that's when like you'll put like your your uh okay let me play that's when you will put like your reverb Okay, let me play for the long. Okay, let me play. 
play like the before let me play the before right now like i'll just turn off all my effects then let me play it. let me play my after let me put the effects guys that's how you get like like that, that hair uh, vocal effect using your auto tune by g snap um what is the camera name of this uh it's called like g g v s t uh g snap so what else i can do i can start like adding a lot i can add like a behesser i can add a lot of things but i feel like it right now i need to add like a special effect or let me go to a modulation uh we can add a chorus a little bit of a chorus we can add a vibrato but we already did that on 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 on, on, on our attitude so all i have to do here i'll just like push this a little bit downwards and i push this downwards that's all then for this one i think uh that will be it I believe for for this kind of a vocal i just want to keep it short and this is what this will be it you can decrease the volume a little bit so that it can blend with it can blend with your beat so it won't sound because uh the gp my 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 cpu is uh is dying out of like too much effect which i added but after adding like my reverb that's all that's all so we can decrease that a little bit. Another thing, like uh, I would love to show you, of which like uh, is not a part of this tutorial, just to remove this. You see, here we have that. <gasps> So to do that, like we can just uh, click around this position, then we can also click around that position, then click around again okay, around. It. Uh, let's just click, let's just click in the middle, then you can decrease that part. So what what I'm doing here, and I want that uh, to not sound uh very uh to not sound big time. I really don't know how I should explain it, but I'm just decreasing it the volume for that session. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted because, like, the moment like uh this sounds uh high, you will have that, you know. So I want it to be there, but I want to decrease it in the volume a little bit, like I decrease it by negative four dB. That's exactly what I did. So guys, I, I think that's all. If you want me to do like further explanation, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, this this is how far I can go. Uh, on this tutorial uh, a lot of people like been telling me like you need to do it like an auto tune uh, tutorial and that's exactly what i did here thank you so much guys for the love uh bye please do enjoy keep watching my tutorials i love you all